This morning I was reminded of what the number one cause of you and me, my friend, experiencing scarcity unnecessarily in our lives and in our relationship with money. So I decided to pop out here by the apple tree I was talking in front of in my last video and, and sharing all of the lessons this apple tree offers us when it comes to abundance and our innate divine nature of abundance. The reminder that the externals do not... Um, are not what make us abundant. It's not the fruit at the end. It's what's inside of us. Well, a couple of days after um, I shot that video, something happened to that apple tree, which in my prayer this morning, I suddenly realized was something powerful to share. So in my prayer this morning, the uh, a scripture verse I grew up with that has great meaning to me, um, it came, came to my, like landed on my heart, came to my mind. And it was, um, I am the vine, you are the branches. And, and, and the story and the message of that is, is that, you know, apart from the vine, the branches can't do anything. Okay. Well, what happened a couple of days after our last video, and I hope I can figure out how to show this, is some of our apple tree branches broke. I wish I had thought of sharing this. Dan had to cut them off to, to save the apple tree, and he's got them on top of this burn pile we're starting to create with a lot of wood that we've been clearing here at the farmhouse. I wish you could see how one single branch was just totally laden with fruit. Because what happened was there was so much fruit on the branch that the branch couldn't carry them all, literally was not strong enough to support all that fruit. And we had not even all that strong of a wind. And this is what happened. This branch, <laughs> is dying and it will never be able to produce the fruit that it had the potential and even started to produce because it wasn't connected anymore to the vine or to the, the, the center trunk of the tree through which life and nutrients flow. And my friends, that's the number one cause for us to, to experience unnecessary scarcity. When we think <laughs> a couple of things, we're the ones who, who are making things happen. We're the ones who are making the money. We're the ones who are accomplishing our achievements and our success. We are self-made people. It's the American dream. When in effect, we think we're the source of it all. Sometimes we can even get caught up in that unintentionally when you think of like the law of attraction and, and how we create our reality with our thoughts. Like we can really get locked into like we're the source. And the moment we think we're the source of all the, of the things that are happening in our lives, we are going to start to experience unnecessary scarcity. We're going to start to experience strain and stress and exhaustion. Um, we may uh, keep trying to, to do more and do more because we're the ones making it happen and, and suddenly have too much and we can't sustain it. And the reason we'll do that is because that's the inaccurate perception we have in our world of what abundance is. It's about producing as much fruit as you can, right? Like, wow, I wish you could have seen how laden these branches that broke were with fruit. I mean, they literally look like grapes, only they were apple-sized. And, 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 and in our society's idea of abundance and the archetype of scarcity's idea of abundance, it's like that, lots of fruit, lots of fruit, <sighs> lots of fruit no more. What truly makes us abundant, what truly allows us to produce fruit, what truly allows us um, to experience abundance instead of unnecessary scarcity is the humble knowing we are not the source.
What creates unnecessary scarcity, this is what the archetype of, of scarcity feeds, is this idea that somehow, and it's oftentimes subconscious, we're separate from the source. And in that, in that disconnection or that separation, we got we to gotta step in. The other thing is, 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 you know, what creates unnecessary scarcity, besides that perception that more is automatically scarcity, is that our, if we're not disconnected from source, the connection we have with source isn't very strong. It isn't consistent. It's like, we hit or miss it sometimes. Like, okay, today I've got problems, so I'm going to make sure I connect with source, and then everything's great. I look at what I'm doing. Look, Okay. This is why the new definition of abundance, that's the foundation of all the work I do. That's the foundation of really being able to stop playing the giant game of musical chairs more, 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 and then winding up with less, and creating a world that I call a chair for everyone, where everyone has the resources they need to fully become who they were created to be, to live rich and meaningful lives. Okay? But, but for that to happen, we need to understand that abundance is not how many apples we produce. It's the knowing that we're part of something bigger than us and our individual efforts and our individual actions that we're connected to a vine. And connected to that vine, we can grow and produce fruit. And when we start to strain under <laughs> fruit, we can also let it go. That's what Dan and I have been doing on the apple tree since. We've been thinning out the apples so no more branches break. It's exactly what we need to do in our lives. It's not about more. It's about the connection we have with the source of abundance and the resources that that source offer us so that we can grow, my friends. We can grow and we can produce fruit. Not too much, not too little. Everything is about just right.